Alright, what's up, y'all? This is the official first interview. DJ Swerve coming live at y'all with my boy, Reese Bat. What's the deal, man? Mr. Bear Middle himself. Introduce yourself, bro. What's your name? Where you from? Hey, it's Reese, man. I don't know. It's Reese Bat from Oakland, California. Okay, out. okay. What part of Oakland are you from, bro? I'm from the north side of Oakland. North side? Yeah. What does bare minimum mean to you, bro? Uh, honestly, I just wanted to change something that's usually sounded or heard as, as a negative to some positive. People was expecting the bare minimum from you. Yeah, that's for real. They were expecting that, so I was like, let me turn something that's usually sounded as negative into yeah. good. And I was like, I feel like I'm, I'm really doing that right now. So he's like, shit, I'll do the bare minimum. Yeah. When people hear that, they think of me, and then when they see, my brand, they think of me. Yeah. Like, no, that's what behind that. Like the bare minimum, like. Uh, oh, bear is an acronym. It's uh, breaking any rules, endeavoring. So really. Breaking any rules and what? Endeavoring. Like. Oh, and endeavoring. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's saucy. That's saucy. What made you like think of that? Like. Uh, I don't know. I really, I just like wordplay. Um, I was thinking one night. I think I was up like two or three in the morning. And I was like, they gotta mean something to me, and they do. So. Yeah. Thought about my life and then what it meant to me. So. I, so you came up with the acronym like in that one night? Yeah. Okay, okay, absolutely. That's cool, bro. That's cool. What like what made you want to get into clothes? Honestly, I, I didn't want to do music, but I knew I was creative and like artistic, so I just You just kinda like looking for something like some type of business that you could like start kind of like, Yeah, and be creative with so I created with clothes. Yeah, I always had a little sense of fashion. I mean going okay. up, my pops had me getting dressed, getting fly my mom too for sure. Okay. But, um, what yeah. was your favorite type of clothes like growing up? Like Jordans obviously like what, yeah. what was your favorite like type of Jordan and shit? Uh, favorite type of Jordans back then probably was some fours. My mom was gonna be in the Shine Shine a lot, platform and shit. Okay, okay, okay. What's your favorite type of Jordan now? It's probably Elevens. Elevens now. So yeah. you was fours, now you flip it to Elevens. Yeah. Okay, okay. I feel that. Toronto. I feel that. Um, what's been uh, the hardest thing about doing a clothing brand so far? Uh, staying consistent and staying encouraged. Okay. Uh, There's gonna be days where you don't get no sales. There's gonna be days where you get. 10, 15 sales gonna be day, you know. But yeah, you gotta keep on pushing, staying consistent, and then you know, just keep on believing in yourself. Cause I mean, you gonna have people who believe in you, but ain't nobody yeah. gonna believe in you like yourself. Yeah, for sure. So you say like staying consistent, and that that goes like as far as like the drops, like doing designs and all that too. Huh? Yeah, staying consistent in the original. Okay. okay. What what's like the what's like the process that you usually do when you try to come with, like a new design? Is it like something just pops in your head, or like you like sit down like? I don't know, like, figure something out. Yeah, I sit down, really, listen to music. I listen to a whole lot of music. I, I probably got, like, 4,000 songs on my playlist. Okay. Yeah. So you I, say, like, uh, most of the time, like, music inspire, like, will inspire, like, the new, a new drop or, like, a new idea for, like, yeah, for, sure. the, for the brand. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's cool. Um, do you have, like, any advice for somebody who's thinking about starting a brand? Like, coming from your experience, like, what to do, what not to do, maybe? Yeah. Um, I say just be yourself. Don't try to like. Don't try to piggyback off of what somebody else do. Just stay original. Do what you do. Cause yeah. to each his own. I mean, what one person might not like, or the next person might love it. You know. Yeah. So just stay yourself. So, sure. and uh, say so your new drop. If you want to show it, the uh, eyes on the prize. Oh yeah. Uh, you just dropped this what last month, right? Yeah. Yeah. For the okay. Weeks ago. So, uh, what what inspired the uh, the eyes on the prize like movement or drop? Uh, really, I know it's just everybody got ups and downs in life. Um, everybody got goals. Really, we got to stay focused. So uh, I feel like I, I wanted to do something that everybody could relate to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, everybody got to keep their eyes on the prize. Yeah, 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 for sure. So uh, what um what prize are your eyes on personally? Like either short term, long term, like. Um, Really, just a lot of longevity. Really, just taking my family out the out the places that they was in or yeah. in. Um, yeah. Like financial freedom type shit. Yeah, like. sure. Financial freedom. Uh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Like, what made you think of that? You know, like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Really, like the negatives in life that was going on at a, at a point in time when I was uh, getting ready to start it up or getting ready to uh, create it. Yeah. Uh, it was like a lot of shit like falling down at once. It seemed like it seemed like laying on lap falling apart. Yeah. But then I was like, damn, you know, no storm lasts forever really, so I can keep my eyes on Yeah, apart. like what was some like your, your inspirations to like start your clothing brand? Like any any like other clothing brands that you looked at that like made you be like, Yeah, I wanna do this or 
Anything like that? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'll probably say my uncle, uh, Fab. Okay, Fabby. shout out Fab. Yeah, shout out Fab. Dope era. Uh, starting off seeing him selling this stuff out the trunk, man, and supporting back then. Seeing what he got to now. Yeah, it's like seeing how far it came. Yeah, basically. seeing like you could really do something with this. So, Hell yeah. yeah. That's for sure a big inspiration. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, and then just always being in the fashion. But yeah. That's an up close, that's an up close inspiration to me for sure. Like kind of, for sure, yeah. Seeing somebody with your own eyes that like did it. Yeah, for sure. And like being like, damn, I feel like I could do something like that too. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, so what would you say is next for Bear Man after this? So, I mean, obviously you can't give too much away, like, but, like, do you give us any sneak peeks, like, or any, any hints, like, what, what might be next? Honestly, yeah, I'm gonna try to dip with that for a little bit of everything, but I'm gonna okay. master what I, what I do first, and then okay, okay. switch around, switch around. I feel you, I feel you. I'm, I'm always thinking about what's next. I got, um, an so, EP dropping for sure. An EP? Yep. Okay. Big, tell Big, uh, Big Soul dropping the first, first person to make clothes <laughs> with an EP about the clothes. Um, yeah. So it's the bare minimum EP. Yeah, oh, yeah I that's hard. I, I want to get into some for sure, some some film, some film directing. I, I kind of want to like okay. produce a movie or like at least film it or something like that. Damn, and that's hard. I feel like I got a story to tell and I'm creative at the, at the same time. That's Especially hard. going up from where we're from, you see a whole lot of stuff. So I feel like we could do we could do something like that for sure. What's been your fa personal favorite piece that you made so far? Yeah, I think one. obviously like all of them been hard, but like um, first. I'd probably say this one right here. The eyes on the prize? Yeah, because I created it at the most weird time. What? Um, Can you give us a story? Like, what was the weird time? It was probably about a month or two ago. Maybe like two months ago, actually. I, was, I just couldn't sleep for one night for some reason. I had, I was just sitting up on the couch, and I started listening to music. I think I put on, like, Roddy Rich, uh, Please Excuse Me for being an anti-social album. Yeah. And right after that, I just couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. I was like, I got to draw, do something. So I started drawing. And then it just, I came up with the eyes on the prize thing, the, the logo for it. And Damn, that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I feel like, I don't know what it is about the nighttime, bro, but, like, it's just something about it that, like, your best ideas come to you at night. That's like, the most productive hours. The hours between, like, 2 a.m. to, like, 4 p.m. 4 a.m. Yeah. It's like, bro, those are the hours you're going to think of, like, the most creative shit. Like, for sure. That's when everybody sleeps. You get to actually focus. No, you probably got to no call at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Okay, yeah, it is. true. Like it's not, it's not really nobody. It's nobody to talk to or yeah. anything like. That's the real focus hours. So. Yeah, it's just like you with yourself, kind of like. What inspired you to do the the uh, Phoenix Suns theme? Bear Man with Rock. Ah, uh, uh, I'm really in tune with the NBA. I always been in tune with the basketball. You know, Kevin Durant is a goat. Uh, All right, shout out KD. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was around that time. I think the playoffs. I was like, let me try to make some make some shake with the NBA. You know. You like everybody's mind kind of on basketball already from the playoffs. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, you know, I love basketball, so I, of course I'm going to try to implement something from the NBA to my, to my thing. So. What's been like your favorite thing about doing Bear Middle so far? Uh, my favorite thing is seeing that people actually support what I can think of and my thoughts. Okay. Uh, I never thought that it would like, really be like that. You know, I got friends that support me for sure. But then it's like when strangers come and support you, it's like... Yeah, it's different, bro. Damn, it really means something to people like, you know, like... You don't even know me, like, you support me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it'd be crazy. That's, that, I think that's the best part, though, just seeing people support me. Okay, what are some of your uh, favorite personal brands right now besides Ben Uh For sure, my boy, uh, he with the Rapid Co. Okay. Uh, shout, out, shout out Rapid Co. There's a lot of brands I'm okay right now. Uh, Molino, uh, Bior Flowers. Okay. Uh, Blue Season is going crazy. Uh, uh, Besto does with an awful lot. Yeah, yeah, that shit hard. That shit hard. Yes. Do you feel like do you feel like you look at fashion differently now that now that you like are doing it yourself? Yeah, most definitely. I feel like I kind of got I got a voice in it. Like okay. back then, I'd be one of the people who just you know cop cop cop. Yeah. But now I kind of got a voice in it to say so. You got more, more like more insight now. Yeah, exactly. It's like you know, kind of like what goes into what goes into it, like. Like, like behind the, the scenes, shit. yeah, the thought process, how hard it is. It's not like everything don't just happen overnight for sure. So, yeah, yeah. earlier you mentioned like consistency has been the hardest part about doing a clothing brand. What's the what's like your keys to staying consistent? Like, how do you motivate yourself to stay consistent? To stay consistent with it? Ooh, um, honestly, I say really just believing in myself. Okay. Like, knowing that anything is possible, like, I, I can do anything I put my mind to. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Um, and then at the same time, it's like really the people who support me. It's like 
I wouldn't even be thinking about my brand at certain, at certain, like, certain times, I say, and then they'd just be like, when the next drop, what you dropping next? Like, you got something on you? Like, you get something? I'd be like, damn, like, that's, it really means something to y'all, so For sure. I gotta keep it coming. Just follow me on Instagram at Bare Minimum Apparel. Uh, stay tuned sure. for what's next. I got some heat coming, some crazy heat coming. So. Yeah, Bare Minimum, the EP coming out soon, too. Good shit, man. I appreciate you sitting down with me for my first interview. Yeah. So. Knocked out the park, bro. DJ Swerve. Appreciate you coming, DJ Swerve, and this bitch, we back. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate y'all watching.